You like peanuts? Is this a bumblebee? No. No. Bearded Geek, is this a bumblebee? No. It's a poppy. And welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek, always joined by Mikey the Freak. What's up? And Steve. Listen, if you're not going to take this seriously... (laughs) <laughs> I always take it seriously. <laughs> Serious is my middle name. If you have not realized, we are watching the movie Best in Show. But before we get into it, let's check out that trailer. Yes, let's. Da, 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 da. Here we go, Best in Show. Live from Philadelphia, it's the 125th annual Mayflower Kennel Club Dog Show. 3,000 dogs competing for best in show. A lot of damn dogs. To think that in some countries, these dogs are eaten. (laughs) Cookie and I work as a team. We met at this dance. He didn't want to dance. I got two left feet. (laughs) I thought he was kidding. But I wasn't. I was born with two left feet. (laughs) Beatrice has been showing signs of depression. Ever since she saw us having sex, what would you like to say to Beatrice right now? I'm sorry you had to see that. I've been a hairdresser about 14 years and I uh, went to a show. I asked my ex-wife, who's that? She says, that's Scott. We got top loin, porterhouse, T-bone, we got everything. So basically, you know, meat. <laughs> Leslie and I have an amazing relationship. People say, oh, but he's so much older than you. And you know what? I'm the one having to push him away. <laughs> Come on, boy, we both blue. Love soup. The bloodhound not only has a great nose, but they can talk. What you doing, bloodhound doggy? What you doing? What you doing? And he's saying, I'm ready. That's when he, you know he's ready for a show. That goal is that best in show ribbon. Actually, oh. poodle means um, puddle in German. You want your busy bee? You want your busy bee? Good heavens, if she doesn't get into it, she's gonna flip out! It's not in here. You left it at the hotel. Go to the hotel and get busy bee! That's my favorite, the miniature schnauzer. Sorry, You'd think they'd want to breed them bigger, wouldn't you? Like grapefruits or watermelons. Don't look at the fat head losers or freaks. You look at me! <laughs> He went after her like she's made out of ham. (laughs) All right, Mikey the Freak, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this movie? Well, this was a funny movie. All right, so a behind-the-scenes look into the highly competitive and cutthroat world of dog shows through the eyes of a group of ruthless dog owners. Uh, I I don't know, that kind of... that kind of pretty much says it you know they do a mockumentary about a dog show uh kind of like the westminster kennel club that they have you know every year and uh you know they do the mockumentary with with each one of the dog owners and they are in each one in each category you know your toy group and so forth and um you know all of them kind of make it to the finals and then you always have one that's best in show which is basically the best dog out of the one out of the three thousand dogs that are out there, um, yeah, and it uh, it's funny because it ends up being Eugene Levy's dog, which is out of you know the, the guy that has two left feet, so mm-hmm. he has to actually because uh, Catherine O'Hare, Harris character gets injured, uh, he has to actually show the dog in the best of show competition at the finals, and they point that out like, does he have left? Two left feet, really? As he's running around with the dog. So that was kind of funny. But yeah, yeah, interesting movie, to say the least. Um, the One of the funniest Christopher guests, I think, movies out of all of them. Um, so other than that, I mean, what do you think, Bearded Geek? What do you think after rewatch? Again, this was my first time watching this movie. Um and you were last time watching. It. <laughs> it, it, it will be my last time watching. It was it was funny, um, but it it, it, was, it, it was it, it, it was, was funny. Yeah. But I'm gonna say it it was boring at the same time. It had spots that was funny, but 
So I have a feeling you're not a mockumentary or a documentary movie person. Maybe not a movie person, but I love the like the office that and that's like a mockumentary, but wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You're saying you're not a movie person. This is a fucking movie show. No, I meant for a, like mockumentary. a mockumentary. Yeah. Type. Yeah. So the television series mockumentary like The Office you like, but the movie mockumentaries you don't I don't know. It I just didn't yeah, it it didn't hold my attention like I, I was like we understand bearded geek, you don't have a sense of humor. It's okay. <laughs> I've I've been accused of that. Uh but yeah, it's it, it there were funny parts. I did enjoy and, and again, great cast in this movie. It's a Amazing fun, cast. Yeah. Um, I mean they they added at least one person that I can think of. Um, but yeah. Who? Other th- Who? Who? Uh, when they go, when they go to the house to meet the person and he's like all over that one chick. I can't remember his name. Oh, the guy it, from necessary roughness. Yeah. The, the Dean from necessary roughness. Yeah. I can't remember his name. Yeah. But I don't think, like, he, I don't think he was in some of the other ones. But it, it was it was it was funny, but not yeah, enough like to keep up. my attention. Yeah, that. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, Steve, what did you think about this on rewatch? I love it. I love all of these movies. It's super hilarious. I own three dogs, um, so like uh, it was just it's it's uh, it's always a fun one. I, I love uh, I love watching it. It's it's uh, just like the last one. I laugh. At, uh, mm-hmm. at all the stupid jokes, I laugh at all the stuff that, that I know is coming up. Uh, it's it's great. It's always it's always fun. It, it definitely was a fun movie, but it, it, like I said, it just sometimes it took a long time to get there. Um, Mikey the Freak, what would you actually rate this movie? Well, I I to be the I don't know, kind of to be honest, the best movie for best in show uh, out of Christopher Guest, it's probably going to be close to a seven. Um, again, if you're not a mockumentary person and don't really get the movie, it's going to be tough. I think it's a lot funnier. It it was a, uh, uh, I don't know if it was funny or written because it was written by the same people. Um, but it just, you can relate more, I think, because it's a competition. Um, but it's kind of tough to explain, kind of tough to describe. If you haven't seen the movie before... You can watch it. It, like I said, it's a uh, a great comedy ensemble and cast of characters. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's great, com- be a, great comedians in this movie. Great, great comedians. comedians. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a, a a solid seven for me. That's fair. Um, this is actually a step up from our previous episode. Um, I'll give this a seven point five for sure. Um, it, it was funnier, in my opinion. Um, I, I did enjoy this more. Um, however, after watching this one time, I will not be going back. Uh, Steve, <laughs> well, how would you actually rate party. this movie? Uh, well, the, to 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 go back to your previous of adding new people, the actor mm-hmm. in question is Mr. Larry Miller. That's right. And, Larry Miller. And, yeah. and in A Mighty Wind in 2003, he played a character named Wally Fenton. So he I did is not in recognize fact, him. He is in fact in a mighty wind. Thank you. Okay. He's the guy. He's the guy that's with uh, that's with uh, Jennifer Coolidge. I don't even like. Uh, I don't even like folk music. Oh yes. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Yep. Oh really? I guess I'm right. Yeah. I am right because they have the same <laughs> talk in every movie. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> We know you're right, motherfucker. <laughs> How would you rate rate this movie then? Oh, Sorry, it's a nine for him. I'm sure <laughs> it's an eight. I oh, love this Jesus. movie, but not as much as a mighty wind. It's an eight. We're just going up the scale: seven, seven point five, eight. Hey, I like it. I like watch it. Watch this movie. I love it. Mm. Just you can it watch it one time. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, no, no. I will say, I will say, both of these movies are bo- are worth a watch, but. It's You're only done. needed once. It's only needed once. You're done. <laughs> You're done after that. Right. Uh, some some interesting facts I, I would suppose would be Parker Posey actually got real braces for her character to wear in this movie. Oh, that would suck. 
Yeah, no kidding. Holy uh, shit. And, and just like the last one, much of this film was improvised. The narrative outline was only 16 pages long. It's all improvised. The line with, with the left shoes, I mentioned this yeah. in the last one. The scene with the thing, Eugene Levy just made the joke of I was born with two left feet. And then he looked at Christopher Guest, and Christopher Guest looked at him, and he was kind of like, no. And then they went and got two left shoes, and they're like, and just, and that's what it was. He made it as a joke as a side commentary, and it became a bit. I, it worked. Uh, Christopher Guest cast Jane Lynch after he directed her in a Frosted Flakes commercial. And no actual dog show would allow them to film on site, so the filmmakers had to create their own. Of course not. Yeah. And those are your facts, interesting facts. Uh, Steve, what is the soundtrack on this movie, sir? Uh, you got uh, Piano Seduction, March of the Mayflower, Terrier Style, Louisiana Nights, Mutt Struts, and God Loves a Terrier. <laughs> oh, it's right. shorter than the last damn one. All right, Mikey the Freak, just repeat your um, related reels from the last episode and be all right. And I will not. I pick three different people. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I, I pick Fred Willard, uh, Anchorman, Legend of Ron Burgundy. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? Howard and Kumar go to White Castle. And he's in Space Force. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge, Legally Blonde, American Pie with Eugene Levy, and A Cinderella Story. Just like the 4th of July. Makes me want to hot dog. Real bad. bad. Real bad. Everybody can (laughs) quote that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jane Lynch. Talladega Nights. Legend of Ricky Bobby. Uh, Party Down. Which was actually a television show. It's pretty damn funny. Uh, And then Only Murders in the Building now. With also Eugene Levy. She was also really good on Glee. Yes. She was really good on Glee. She was in Glee. I didn't watch Glee. I'm sorry. I did. I was a leak. All right. Yeah. Is what it is. All right. I do I'm surprised believe that... you didn't like a mighty wind. <laughs> no. Don't like folk music. As we come to a close, make sure you check out all the other shows associated with Back to the Retro Review, which is the Mod Squad Network, the sister channel, where we have a movie show, a horror show, a gamer show, a conversation show, and we go live every Saturday night with a giveaway. All right. That does it for this episode of Back yeah, to the Retro YouTube Review. Oh, yeah. Thumbing. Yeah, do all the YouTube things. Make sure you give us a good old thumb in. Hit that like, subscribe, do all that good thing. Um, all right. So for Mikey the Freaking Steve, I am the Bearded Geek saying, if we don't see you again, thank you for being a friend. See ya.